Hello, good morning everyone. Today, let me show you how to solve the first order linear differential equation. Let's say an example of the yy prime equal to 4y1 plus 2y2 and y2 prime equal to 3y1 plus 3y2. So let me show you how to solve the first order linear differential equation. Okay, so for the first step, you need to write the equation into a metric form. Okay, you write the like in a metric form y prime equal to a y. So you have a y1 prime, y2 prime equal to so from here you have the 4, 2, 3 and 3. So you write down 4, 2, 3 and 3 from the given equation. Or you can write it in this form. Y prime equal to 4, 2, 3, 3. Okay. So you know that this is y so you know that this is uh, y prime and then equal to a y okay now uh, step two step two is five the eigenvalue and the eigenvector. Find the eigenvalue. So you know that you have the 4, 2, 3, 3. So you have 4 minus lambda, 2, and then 3, 3 minus lambda. Four minus lambda and then two, three, three minus lambda. So make sure only uh, 4 and the 3 you have to minus with lambda. So, okay, you have to solve 4 minus lambda, multiply with 3 minus lambda, minus with 2 times 3 equal to 6. So meaning that this 2, you have to multiply minus with this 2. Okay, so you will have a uh, 12 minus uh, 4 lambda minus 3 lambda plus lambda square minus 6 equal to 0. So when you simplify it, you have a uh, lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. When you factorize it, Lambda minus 6, lambda minus 1. So you have lambda equal to 6 and lambda equal to 1. In order to find the eigenvector, so next is to find the eigenvector. Okay, find the eigenvector. Now you have a lambda equal to 6 and lambda equal to 1. So you need to substitute this lambda value into the, uh, the, the eigenvalue. So for lambda equal to 6, so you have a 4 minus lambda, you will substitute into the lambda value and 3, 3 minus 6. So you have x and y equal to 0. Okay, now 4 minus lambda. So this lambda you shrink away. Actually, you can um, write down 3 minus 6. Okay. So 3 minus 6, uh, 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2. You multiply with the x here. So you have a negative 2x plus with 2y equal to 0. 
and then uh, so mean that mean that this one multiply this one and plus if this one multiply this one similarly you have a uh, three multiply with the x so three x mm, plus so you have a uh, three minus six is negative three so you have negative three five go to zero then you assume assume that the x equal to s so when you substitute the x equal to s so you have negative 2s plus 2y equal to 0 then y equal to 2s over 2 equal to s or you can substitute using this one this equation is either one so 3s minus 3 y equal to 0 so y equal to 3s over 3 equal to s so y is equal to s and the eigen vector is 1 and 1 because the when you assume the x is s so it's 1s and then y equal to s, so it's 1s and 1s. So this is for lambda equal to 6. Okay, let's do it for lambda equal to 1. So for lambda equal to 1, you substitute the lambda value. So you have 4 minus 1, 3, 2, and 3 minus 1. So you have a 3x plus 2y equal to 0. And then uh, and this one, also 3x plus 2y equal to 0. So similarly, this, this one, this one. And then you assume, you assume the x is equal to s, so you have a 3s plus 2y equal to 0, and then y equal to negative 3s over 2. So, y is equal to negative 3 over 2s. And then when you write the eigen vector is one and negative three over two. Okay, so we finish number step two and then we continue with step number three. And then you need to check the eigen vector, either it's linearly independent or not. So you copy down all the eigenvector. So for example, when you have the eigen, when you have the eigenvector for this one, lambda equal to lambda equal to six, okay, your eigenvector is one and one. And then for lambda equal to one, you have the eigenvector is one and negative 3 over 2. So you just write down, for example, 1 and 1, 1 and 1, and then you have a 1, negative 3 over 2. So equal to 1, this one, you multiply, minus with this one. So 1, negative 3 over 2, minus 1 and 1. So you have negative 3 over 2 minus 1, you have negative 5 over 2. And then is, is it equal to 0? If it's not equal to 0, that is linearly independent. Okay, and then step number 4. The general solution. So y x equal to okay. Follow the formula. So you have the formula of uh, c one 
Eigen vector one 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 two exponent lambda one x plus c two vector two one vector two two lambda exponent lambda two x okay so um, based on this formula, you can uh, substitute the value. So vector one one is one one. Vector one two is one for lambda six plus lambda two one is one. Lambda two two. Um, sorry, uh, vector one one. Vector two one is one. Vector two two is negative three over two. And the exponent for lambda value is 1. So this is the answer for general solution. Or else you can write it in this form. y prime equal to c1 exponent 6x plus c2 exponent 2. y2 equal to c1 exponent 6x minus 3 over 2 c2 exponent x. Thank you.